Why, hello, are you a new student? Well, you look terrified, so I just assumed. Welcome to Strix Haven. You're in the right place, don't you worry. My name is GB. What's your name? Oh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yes. Well, you must be following the orientation path. I'm here to tell you all of the most important things about Strixhaven so you can carry on your orientation, and I'll also teach you about the five colleges we have here at Strixhaven. I'm sure you've heard a little bit, but you know, it's required for all first-year students. Now, 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 I do want to see your acceptance letter, if you don't mind. Do you have that on you? Ah, yes, okay. Perfect. Keep it in your hat. That's very smart. Ah, oh, okay. You see the emblem. Off to a good start. And you said your name was... How do you spell that? Perfect. All right, well, I don't sense any alteration magic on this. Seems perfectly legitimate. Congratulations. You'd be surprised how many people try to sneak in here. Mm, it is one of the most elite universities of all time, and certainly the most elite university in all of Arcavios. Alright, well, I'll just stick this back under your hat then. Keep it nice and safe for you. So, as you may or may not know, Strixhaven was actually founded 700 years ago by the founding dragons themselves. While they still do roam the plane, no, 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 you won't be interacting with them here. We have deans for that. Yes, although if you are sold on working with the founders, you can, if you graduate with high enough honors and prestige, you can join the Dragon's Guard upon graduation. <laughs> but this is your first day here, so let's not worry about that. All right, so my job is to tell you about the five colleges we have here at Strixhaven University. What's that? Do we have some magical item that will determine which college you belong to by reading your mind? Oh, no, no, heavens, no. No, 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 no. You get to choose yourself, of course. You're a fully functioning adult after all. You actually have an entire year to study, learn, and figure out which college is most suited for your type of magic and the interests that you have in your learning space. Hmm, let's see. It's never too early to start learning, but before we get into the colleges, I'll tell you a little bit about being a first-year student. Now, you're going to be issued a first-year uniform, just like the rest of your peers, and then once you commit to a college later, you'll get a uniform then matching each group. Oh yes, they're quite snazzy. Um, after that, when you are accepted into a college, you'll be assigned two counselors, one for each type of mana that's associated with your college. Now, the counselors do tend to give very conflicting advice, as you might imagine, but you'll get through it and eventually choose your concentration. It's all so exciting, but I am getting ahead of myself. Let's talk about what um, you might expect as a first year, and if you have any questions, you can let me know. Well, you certainly have to know all about the Biblioplex. I'm sure you saw it when you arrived. It is impossible to miss the absolute center of Strixhaven. Each college surrounds the Biblioplex, and the Biblioplex is what contains the mystical archives. What's that? Ah, yes, the restricted archives as well. But, you know, those are, as the name suggests, restricted, so you won't be able to get in there. Don't try. Don't try. The Biblioplex is so massive that
that some of the towers even have their own weather and some areas you will have to access by boat so I hope you don't have seasickness okay and then at the very center of the biblioplex is the hall of oracles it's absolutely stunning it's lined with monuments Ooh, breathtaking and in the center of that is the Strix Haven snarl oh yes oh yes it makes the entire chamber illuminate like a magical sun you should absolutely make your way there to see it they should take you there on Speaking of the suns, as the sun set, I do want to give you a little word of warning to please watch out for the Auric. Well, you can tell by their clothing, mostly very dark clothes and a very telling metal mask. Oh, they're such a nuisance. We try to eliminate them from campus, but they keep coming back. And what they try to do is recruit a young Strixhaven students to join their nefarious desires, especially the struggling students. So if you are having trouble at all, please reach out to your dean and don't give up. Any university is going to be difficult, but Strixhaven can be particularly rigorous, so mental health of the students is important as well. And don't talk to the Orik. Fantastic. Well, if you got into Strixhaven, you must be a very promising young mage, so I have full faith in you. Of course, the mission of Strixhaven is to discover and preserve magical knowledge, pass that knowledge onto one generation to the next, promote the free and open study of magic in all its forms, and enhance the lives of people throughout the plane through the use of magic. I'm sure you already knew that. That's why you're here. <laughs> now, on a more fun note, when you're not hard at work studying, has anyone told you yet about Mage Tower? Ah, yes. Mage Tower is a very, very popular activity to participate in on the weekends. Well, you'll have a full year to hit the gym and get ready if you want to be recruited for your future college's Mage Tower team. Oh, it's a fantastic sport. Well, the goal is for each team to steal the opposing mascot. Yes, I will tell you all about each college's mascot. And then, of course, you have to bring it back to your side, and that's how you win the game. Quite simple, and it's a fantastic and fun display of non-harmful magic. Each college plays very, very different strategies, as you might be able to guess. After Mage Tower, well, you'll probably have worked up quite an appetite, so let me tell you, the food on campus is delightful. You may have heard of the Freshman 15. Yeah, well here, you have to look out for the Strixhaven 70. Mm -hmm. You'll get to know Chef Guyon very, very well. His portion sizes are huge and delicious. There's nothing like a slice of Guyom's signature cake after a long night of studying in the library. Yes, as an alumni, I can tell you, I used to do that weekly, daily. Now, did you get a booklet when you arrived? Good, good, good. Now, this booklet, go ahead. Oh, perfect, perfect. Go ahead and hand that over to me. This booklet has a place for me to stamp every time I go through all the information about a college. You'll need all five stamps to bring back to your orientation counselor to prove that you listened to my presentation and that you received all the necessary knowledge. Some first-years come in thinking they know exactly what college they want to go to, so they ignore the others, but we want to make sure that each student has a fair and equal chance to learn about each one without 
outside pressures. If your mother or your father or your cousin or your uncle or your lover went to a certain college, some like to follow in that path when truly it's not suited for their type of magic. So, I would recommend listening to my professional, lovely presentation on each one. And then, of course, you will have a full year to decide, experiment, and sort of naturally be drawn towards the college that you belong to. Are you ready to begin? Well then, let's start with... Ah, Laurelhold. Oh, Laurelhold. Now, this is a college of archaeomancy. Their motto is, leave no stone unturned. Laurelhold students are diligent researchers, daring adventurers, and scholars passionate about history. They explore the past by poring over artifacts and even summoning long-dead spirits so you can learn directly from the source. For some, the past is a rich tapestry for discipline study, and for Others, it's a cape worn as I jump into a forgotten tomb. Exciting, isn't it? Well, as you can see, their colors are red and white, and their mascots are the spirits, appropriately. Here is their emblem. Quite lovely. They literally bring history to life. It's quite magnificent. They summon spirits from the past and bring them into the present very heavily into research, exploration of artifacts and ancient relics. You'll be handling a lot of those. It's a lot of uh, written magic, rather than spoken or mixing potions and that sort of thing. A lot of writing. You will find truth seekers, reckless adventurers, absurdophiles, and relic readers, among many other types of intelligent peers. Although that can be said for every college on campus. Well, if you are even interested in ghost advocacy, this might be the right place for you. Hmm. Well, your fighting style will be more with small but very powerful creatures. And I can tell you a little bit about Kalema Hall. That's where you would be most times as a Lorehold student. There are thousand-foot-long scrolls that spill over the balconies. The hall is named after the wise monk, Kalema, who was actually one of the first Lorehold professors. Mm. And of course, you can't miss it on campus. The hall has an impossibly tall, imposing spire at the top. That's how you'll know you're in the right place. Mm. Oh, right. And as you approach the hall, there's prominent historical figures, professors, and even some incredible mage students. Could be you. Um, they all have monuments on effigy row. Popular majors. Yes, within each college, you do still have to pick a major or a concentration. That would be anthropology, archaeology, business, history, law, philosophy, political science, psychology, sociology, and theology, just to name a few. Fantastic. Well, let me go ahead and give you your Lorehold stamp and a complimentary pin. Here we go. I wish they had these when I was a first-year student. Okay. I can go ahead and give that to you. There we go. And let me get my stamp for your book. One down, four to go. Next up, we have Prismari. Now, Prismari is 
is a college of elemental arts and their motto is express yourself with the elements I'm sure you can already tell a lot about Prismari simply from those few lines, yes? Now, these students' spells are spectacles mm -hmm, of raw creativity or meticulous artistic expressions All the world's a stage whether informed by mind or emotion, Prismari always leave a lasting impression. Their colors are red and blue. I'll show you their symbol. And their mascot is the Elementals. Good guess. The College of Art performance and passion that is Prismari to a T channeling the elements into your magic work musicians, actors dancers, painters, and more infuse magic into their creations and into their performances it's well suited for very passionate or even very hot-headed people there's a lot of movement-based learning and the emphasis is really on the creation of the magic, not necessarily the end product. Okay, well, let me tell you about Conjurit Hall then. Because if you go into Prismari, this is where you'll spend most of your time. It is beautiful. It has a glass domed observatory at the top, and that is encircled by constantly changing strands you can see for miles on the top of this observatory and it certainly acts like a stage to the world students report that it's very very inspiring now if you're a really talented Prismari student you could get your work displayed on Opus Walk some displays have been there for centuries others just for a few months hmm. Well, your fighting style is going to be a lot of instants, a lot of sorceries, not to mention looting and artifacts. Fun. Now, the majors. I'm sure you can guess. Some of the most popular majors at Prismari are dance, drawing, fashion design, music, painting, performing arts, sculpture, and theater. Okay. Fantastic. Let me get you your complimentary Prismari pin. There you go. As you learn about more and more colleges, it becomes increasingly impossible to choose, but you'll find the right place for you. Okay, and then I'll give you stamp that you need. Let me just find it in here. Ah, there we go. And right side up. Fantastic. All right. Moving on. On the other side of the spectrum, we have Quandrix. Quandrix. Now, this is the College of Numeromancy. Yes, and its motto is Math is Magic. If you're a mathematician, you might be getting very excited. If you're not, you might be getting very sweaty right now. Quandrix mages are ingenious math magicians. They study patterns, fractals, and symmetries to command power over the fundamental forces of nature. They can simultaneously contemplate the metaphysical properties of the universe while reciting every number of pi backwards. Those people. Now the colors are green and blue. Green And their mascot is the fractals. It's very formulaic magic you'll learn there, blending math into spellcasting. 
Quandrix students can summon creatures made up of fractals. It's quite the sight to behold, changing size or expanding their knowledge through manipulation and number bending. There are also the abstractors and the proof spinners that spend their time conjuring wild magic, stretching the impossibilities of space. Students who study infinite repeating patterns. It's mind-bending. There's a lot of optical illusion fanatics over there in Quadrix, or a lot of people who like to learn how to simply tweak the fundamental nature of reality itself. Lots of paradoxes. Now, your fighting style in Quandrix would be fighting with large creatures and powerful spell drawing. You'll be spending lots of time in Taurus Hall. You'll notice it by its geometric walkways. And once you're inside, uh, be a little bit careful because it actually has an ever-evolving architectural design. Once you're inside the building, don't linger in one spot for too long. We've lost quite a few students that way. You might get turned inside out with the building. Well, let's talk about the majors. As you might guess, some of the most popular majors in Quandrix are Accounting, Astronomy, Biomathematics, Economics, Engineering, Geometry, Math, Statistics, and Physics. <laughs> yes. Well, that's all I have for you about Quandrix, so let me give you your Quandrix pin. There we go. This one's lovely because both ways is right side up. Okay. Here you are. You feel smarter already just wearing this. Okay. And of course, your Quandrix stamp, since you did listen to my demonstration quite nicely. And stamp. Perfect. Only two more to go. Time flies when you're having fun. Ah, next we have the beautiful Silver Quill. Oh, Silver Quill. Now, at Silver Quill, you will be wielding the magic of words. Again, some people might get very excited by that, some people a little sweaty. Silver Quill students are stylish, intimidating, and tirelessly competitive. These mages are born leaders with razor-sharp wit and natural charisma that can be used for good or ill. Some Silver Quill end up using their talents to benefit themselves, and some go on to do massive good for society at large. You'll learn lots of spoken magic rather than potion mixing or written magic, and a lot of combat magic as well, surprisingly. You have to be tough to be in Silver Quill. Otherwise, your fellow peers might get the best of you. Now, their colors are black and white, and the mascot is the Inklings. Now, you're going to be fighting with Life Drain, a lot of sucking out your opponent's life force and adding it to your own. Mm. A lot of exiling, enchantments, and the like. Now, Silver Quill is located on campus with Grand Loft Hall as its main structure. Grand Loft Hall is beautiful, of course. It has enchanted window panes, high ceilings, spotlights, and balconies, so every moment can feel like you're on a stage and people are watching you. Um, oh, yes. Communications is a really popular major here, as well as foreign languages, journalism, linguistics, literature, marketing slash advertising, speech, and writing. It might seem a little bit similar to Prismari, but it's less about the art and more about the words. You would 
get the picture as soon as you meet a, a mage student from Prismari and a mage student from Silver Quill. It's almost like night and day. A lot of extroversion in one room, though, I will say that. Okay. Well done. You're doing great. Silver Quill pin. Looks like a little tip of a pen. And then I'll get you your stamp. Do you know which college you wanted to go to when you arrived? Have I changed your mind yet? Well, there still is one more to go. Perfect. All right. Last but not least, we have the incredible Witherbloom. Witherbloom is the College of Natural Sciences. And their mascot is... Get your hands dirty. Now, Witherbloom students draw power from the essence of living beings. Whether that means enhancing nature or exploiting it, Witherbloom mages are most at home, riding zombie crocs, picking herbs for potions, and hanging out in their swamp, making grim jokes. If you've ever wanted to live in a swamp, Witherbloom's right for you. Their colors are black and green, and their mascot is the pests. You'll do a lot of fighting with regeneration death and revival, as well as permanent destruction of your enemies. Very imposing foes, Witherbloom. In Witherbloom, you can learn powerful witchcraft and dark spells, or life energy, medicine, and herbology. Maybe a mix of both. You'll be mostly located at Wittershins Hall. It's a bog-like mansion located in the middle of a massive swamp. Um, it's comprised of a network of interconnected wooden pods and planked walkways. A bit different than some of the other halls on campus, but incredible to see nonetheless. The inner chambers are actually incredibly cozy. Just try not to get yourself sent to the detention bog. You won't have a good time there. Ah. Well, the swamp that it's located in is called Sedgemore. It's a bayou area that's incredible for finding pests, herbs, fungi, and other potent ingredients for potions and spells, which to a witherbloom, that's very important to have access to. Oh, it's actually very beautiful at night. Yes, yeah, not, too, not too scary at all. There's a lot of necroluminescence there. It's fascinating. So, the most popular majors in Witherbloom are Agriculture, Alchemy, Anatomy, Biology, Chemistry, Medicine, Zoology, and more. Well, that's Witherbloom. I can go ahead and give you your final pin. So, you have officially completed my portion of the orientation. Very proud of you. You didn't fall asleep once. Ah. So, I can give this back to you. And what you want to do Let's take this back to your orientation counselor that brought you here, show them the stamps, tell them that I gave you all the information you needed to know, and you'll be able to carry on with your orientation. There you go. Like I said, you do have a whole year to decide, so 
don't panic too much, take your time, and usually it becomes very obvious, it's very natural which college you're supposed to end up at. But again, it's your choice, so if you don't want to waste an entire year flitting about, wondering, um, you can start concentrating in one area as soon as you're ready. All right, time for you to go back and report to your counselor. If you get lost, you can always stop a campus guide. They'll tell you where to go. Well, it was fantastic meeting you. Congratulations again on your acceptance at Strixhaven University. I hope you have a magical day. Get out of here. Go on, learn things. Make me proud. Bye-bye.